Hello, welcome to another Becoming a Modern Man video. Uh, we're playing Mono Green in effect once again, and this time our opponent is playing Red Deck Wins. Uh, we win the roll here, so let's get it underway. Uh, looks like to have Mulligan there. Actually, I went too fast. Um, so this is our opener after the Mulligan. Um, we've got Double Glistener Elf, Sylvan Scrying, and Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, obviously need some pump spells, but I'm reasonably happy with this and uh, don't really want to go to 5 if I don't have to. A uh, little with the ink off there. Um, I think that was a misclick actually. Uh, definitely would have rather had Glistener Elf as my first play. Cathedral, which will be nice later on. Just going to run out the Glistener Elf here. Contact with both his goblin guides. And a little pressure. Gets to the forest and a mutagenic growth. And bolts the ink moth. I mean the uh, glistener elf, which can't do a whole lot about, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to drop my cathedral here, and I think I'm just going to attack with my ink moth nexus. Sorry, I'll just uh, close my window. Sorry about that, just uh, reducing the road noise. Um, so, uh, yeah, dropping the cathedral, gonna get in with my ink moth, I think. Oh no, I'm just gonna play the glistener elf out here instead. End up getting searing blaze, pump as a spark on that, or attacks. Actually, I played the glistener elf out there because what we're actually setting up for is. Uh, Kill with the ink moth. Put now tapped out, and uh, we're in a pretty good position. Um, I think we can win it here with the cathedral. So, with the exalted trigger, we've got a two-two, and then the double giant growth. We have an eight-eight, and then the mutagenic growth gives us the extra plus two plus two we need to make ten. So we can actually go for a one-turn kill here, which is what we were playing for. So, can activate the ink moth. I can with the, get the exalted trigger, double giant growth, got just enough life to uh, use our mutagenic growth, and uh, yes, managed to win on turn four with the kill. But was obviously putting on a lot of pressure, but uh, fortunately we had enough uh, pump spells uh, to get through. So uh, that worked out fairly well, but definitely was close. Let's go on to game two. Uh, this hand not the most exciting, but it's decent. Three infect guys. Ground Swallow is one of the uh, better pump spells we have, so uh, it's definitely nice. Not lose off of the Spark Elemental. That's down to 17. Just lead off with an Elf. Pass the turn back. And spends a Spark Elemental. Not going to block here. So oh, I definitely could have done if I uh, felt the need. If I'm tapped out, we're going to get in for five with our Glistener Elf. Let's play out the second one. Doubt he's running sweepers. And if he uh, throws his burn at my guys, that's reasonably fine. So yeah, here he throws a Rift Bolt at one of our elves, and then a Searing Blood at the other one. Quite out our guys, unfortunately. But uh, it does mean that uh, we managed to prevent that rift bolt going to our face. So we get a claw mirror. We also get silver scrying, which can find us a uh, ink moth, which is good. Draw vines of vastwood, which is nice. We might be able to protect our uh, creature here. The friend doesn't do anything. I didn't want to vines with uh, out him uh, playing a spell to try and kill my mirror because. That way he can respond, um, respond and kill it. So I uh, didn't want to take the risk there, and uh, just going to. I had lightning bolt, so obviously that was the right play not to uh, vines of my guy. And the rift bolt ends up taking out the ichthyomir. I could have saved it with vines, but I'd rather keep it for my ink moth to uh, protect that instead and potentially win the game with it. Back again, don't really want to use vines without him trying to kill my ink moth. But uh, 
giving him this much time is definitely dangerous for us. Just Searing Blaze at the end of turn. Can protect my Ink Moth, but it does leave us without a pump spell. Also, just drawing Forests here, which is not so great. Once we have down to 9, we have the Searing Blood, which is going to kill off the Ink Moth. And then I'll uh, wrap things up. We're only on 4 life. We draw Spell Sky, which is not a bad draw, but it's not going to be good enough here. Um, just no way we can win you know, this situation basically um, we're going to take two uh, <laughs> either way and eventually uh, eventually die so yeah uh, not much we could have done there and uh, end up getting trapped we were fairly close but unfortunately uh, couldn't have too much more removal for our guys and uh, didn't quite work out for us so uh, let's go on to game three Uh, sounds fairly decent. Glistener Elf, Vines, and a Giant Growth, as well as Pendle Haven, which is really nice. So I'm going to drop the Pendle Haven and the Glistener Elf. Spend the Rift Bolt. I'm going to play my Cathedral of War, and then uh, use Pendle Haven to pump my Glistener Elf. So I can get into three here. Um, could use a pump spell to get in for slightly more, but. I think whenever you can get, um, not even you can uh, deal quite a lot of damage for free. That's always better. Keeping my pump spells for later. So from rift bolts me, then spend another rift bolt, which seems fairly ambitious. <laughs> I have to say, um, he's tapped out again. Plus he only has one land, so uh, just going to tap for three again. And drop my mirror. Make the uh, life as difficult as possible for our opponent. He's going to rift bolt the elf and play goblin guide to block, which is fine. I'm going to pump my mirror and attack. So it's going to block. And I'm going to scrying up an ink moth, which gives us another threat just in case he manages to kill the mirror. Tap with both my guys. He's tapped out, so can't really lose here. Um, and the uh, Pendle Haven plus Giant Growth on a Ink Moth is uh, enough to finish the game. Um, and we still have lots of gas left. So uh, yeah, our opponent was a little bit unlucky getting stuck on one land, but um, I think we probably would have won that either way. Uh, worked out really well. Pendle Haven allowed us not to use too much of the gas in our hand and. Uh, also let us protect our guys so uh, yeah worked out pretty nicely and uh, managed to win that one pretty handily <laughs>